Hi everybody, all my followers. Um, a quite quick video here today, hopefully. Um, someone send, someone asked me if I could read and write uh, this uh, flash memory. This is from... Uh, I don't know which ECU this is from. Basically, I was just asked if I could uh, read this. Uh, he sent me through email, he sent me the the maps or the, 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 the file he wants me to write back and he wants me to back up that, write the file he sent me and um, and uh, and send the chip back to him and email him back the the the, the backup. Um, I point uh, I pointed out to him about checksums, about everything, it's just he said, look, I know all about it. All I needed from you really is to read and write that flash memory. And he sent me the memory like this, the flash. So this is, um, let me see if the phone captures. This is a AM29 F1400 uh, BT. And uh, right, the only thing I have that is able to read it, uh, I believe is my Willem uh, Iprom. Um, I have other tools that will be able to, but I don't have adapters for it. Um, I do have the adapter for the Willem, so hopefully that will work. And uh, what we're going to do now is solder this uh, flash into there, and then we're going to attempt to read it. Okay, and my uh, chip is already in here, as you can as you can see. Okay, uh, and the next step is going to be uh, plugging the Willem programmer. I'm using the uh, LBT cable from uh, Dataman because it is the only... Uh, I could use this computer but it's off at the moment so I'll be using that one uh, and I'm using the same cable obviously. So uh, we're gonna plug everything in and then we'll go from there. A quick note, um, to flash these you're gonna need 12 volts power supply. You can power uh, you can supply a uh, Willem programmer with uh, the 5 volts through the USB cable and then you have a jumper in here that you need to move if you want to power through uh, external 12 volts. For this we need 12 volts uh, otherwise um, the USB does not supply enough current, uh, enough voltage to program this so we're gonna have to use the 12 volts. So we're gonna plug everything and then um, and then we'll carry on from there. Um, actually, guys, before we do it, uh, we, 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 we need to do something here because I don't think it's correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open uh, the software and I'll explain you why we need to do this first in a second. So this is the Willem Programmer software. Uh, let's going to search for the... Okay, so uh, AM... 29F400, this is going to be a flash and it's going to be 16 bits perhaps uh, There it is 28F29 29, hang on, it might be, no no no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on AMD, AM 29F400 there is that's what we want and look at this uh, deep switch here okay and we're gonna have to do the same here also this first uh, voltage uh, jumper here needs to be on the first bottom two which it is but the deep switch they they're gonna have to be changed so we're gonna change this to match the picture and the reason why we're not going to plug in anything in yet is because this is advisable to do that with the uh, programmer powered on. So I'm plugged completely. Now we do the, the, the deep switch. Okay, so we're going to do that and then we'll carry on. And job done, as you can see. So one down, two up, one down, two up, and then down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Exactly the same as in there. Okay, and now yes, we are in conditions to uh, actually plug everything in, which I'm gonna do now. And the first thing we plug in is gonna be my 
sorry. Gonna be my power supply. And now my LPT cable. Ugh. Okay. Uh, and now we are in conditions to test the hardware, which we do by pressing help test hardware. And once I press this, if the hardware is check OK, right there where it says status bar will come up with hardware OK. So, or hardware present. And what happens when you do the test, I will show you. You have some, you have a check that is done, as you can see. So that's what happens. So hardware is present, everything is looking good. So the next step, uh, what we can do next is actually put this in, which I will show you how as well. So we'll put that in there. And now we have this little ribbon cable that goes in there. It goes here to the back. And we are ready to read the chip, which we're gonna do now. So now, if I press uh, read in there, it should start to read the chip, and there we go. It's a quite quick process to read, uh, a little bit slower to write, uh, usually, uh, but reading is usually quite quick, as you can see. And um, once it is done, it's going to come up at the bottom saying reading OK, hopefully. OK, chip read OK. And now we're going to save a backup. As I said at the beginning, the guy wants a backup of this uh, reading. So we're going to save a backup on, well, I'm going to save on a desktop. We're going to save a backup and then, and then we're going to do something just to make sure the reading is OK. But I'll take you through. Okay, and my file is here. Okay, original. Uh, I have here already the file the guy wants me to write in there. But before we write anything in there, I want to make sure that that's a good reading. Um, I could do it, uh, I'm going to do two things. Uh, one, I'm going to do it here. Just try, because the file he sent me, he says it's from uh, EDC. Sorry guys. Uh, the file he sent me is named EDC15C2. Uh, let's gonna see if uh, ECM Titanium detects this dump, this file as a, as a, as the same EDC15C2. Let's gonna see what is gonna detect it as. Oh, come on, just hold those. Out. Just, just let it load. Okay, so and I'm ready to carry on. Let's gonna make it open. And while he looks for the possible issues, there we go. Citroen Iprom 29F400 EDC. Okay, so he gives me three options. Uh, and all these use, as you can see, is from a Citroen Lancia. So all the same engine. It looks like it's from a 2.2 HDI. Uh, is what it looks like. A Citroen, a Peugeot, somewhere around there. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, but it, it confirms a little bit the fact that it says on the file he sent me, it's the EDC 15C2. We don't need this anymore. Um, and just to make sure, really, just to see as well here on Winalls, let's gonna uh, new project, import a file. Okay, my file is gonna be that one there. It's gonna open this file. Okay, let's gonna go on 2D. Okay, and Windows is also detecting some maps around here. Okay, this might not be my okay. So some maps that is detecting there as a Bosch, as you can see in there. So everything is pretty much making sense. Uh, and we have here as well some maps. There we go. So it looks like the reading went absolutely fine. It looks like the reading is okay. So I'm 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 happy with the reading. 
uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to write the file he sent me and to do that we do open and I'm going to look for the EDC 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 15 C2 tuned checksums okay okay so it looks like someone has tuned a file for him from a similar ECU I don't know uh, whatever okay so binary file loaded okay as you can see and now we're gonna program the chip which is right there at the top on this button here uh, I'm gonna leave this a uh, skip right um, uh, to write empty empty space basically so he's not gonna write empty files empty uh, uh, spaces it's gonna make program chip and the programming is just started as you can see it's a little bit slower obviously uh, but we're gonna leave it to do the the programming and it's pretty much done and what the programmer is going to do straight after as you can see uh, is verifying the chip and basically what he's doing is is reading the chip uh, and is comparing the data on the chip with the data of the file he just wrote in there so he's just checking uh, 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 everything against the the file and if if the writing uh, process went okay it's going to tell me the verification is fine and and the files they match device programmed okay so there we go the programming uh, went just fine and um, and uh, it's done really now I just need to remove the chip and send it back to him um, what is this guys this is basically uh, is, is the same as you do pretty much when you do using a uh, key tag or using CAS um, it's, it's pretty much the same the only difference here is that we are reading those maps that data straight from the chip where the data is while you when you do a Yuzuki tag uh, through the, the the can or through the the the, 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 um, the BDM port you are doing the same just using different channels to read that data here we are reading the data straight from the chip uh, that's all it is don't know if you find it any interesting if you think I just thought I was not to record this to be honest but then I thought you know it would be interesting to share this with you guys um, and uh, and I think that, that that's it really I um, hope there's some information here you guys can find you can find it useful you, you know you might have learned something um, I hope you enjoyed the video if you do have any questions any comments you know put them below and like always thanks for watching